This is Dr. Morse, and this is going to be a lecture tutorial on Lesson 16, Inharmonic Equivalence. Okay, this is uh, like that very first one we talked about in Lesson 14. This is one of those things that is kind of confusing if you don't get it straight in your head from the beginning of your music theory career. People fight this if they don't understand it from the beginning, okay? This is the Morse way of describing this. Okay, I have other ways of describing it, but I guarantee you will not forget this one. Let's try the theory, the, the, the book's definition first, and then we'll, I will uh, clarify and see if I can get you an even better definition. When notes are spelled differently by a different letter, but have exactly the same pitch and are on the same key on the keyboard, they are known as inharmonic equivalents or just inharmonics. Okay, inharmonics is easier to say. For example, a half step up from F is F sharp and a half step down from G is G flat. Note that F sharp and G flat are the same physical key on the keyboard, okay? They are inharmonic equivalents. Also notice that, notice that E and F and B and C are a half step apart. There are no half steps between them. Okay, that's a lot of information, all right? So two notes that sound the same but look different, okay. So we're gonna use an analogy here, okay? Let's say that you broke up with somebody and that same scumbag a couple of weeks later comes with a new clothes, new car and is dating somebody else, okay? And you know in your heart of hearts that that is the same person and you're sitting there waiting for them to basically mess up and show their true colors, okay? So let's take, uh, let's take Oh, F flat here, okay? So F flat and E are the same note, okay? Exactly the same note because they're right next to each other on the keyboard. If you flat an F, you get to that key. If you, uh, let's say if you just want an E, you push an E there and it, it's the same thing, okay? All right, here is the part that people don't really understand. People think that uh, it can be one or the other, but it's actually both, okay? We'll talk about in theory, okay? In theory, they are different, okay? They look different, all right? They, they do look different, all right? That and that are the same note, but they look different, okay? They sure do, okay? They look different. And I'm going to even introduce one more word here. I'm going to say they function differently, okay? They function differently. They, they are a different function. They are different, okay? Now, you gotta keep that rule in mind. Now, in practice, let's say you don't have any music in front of you. They sound the same, Dr. Morse, okay? A sharp and B, oh my gosh, they're the same note, okay? That is another rule. Guess what? It's not either or, they're both true. They do function differently. They both are different, but they sound the same. Both rules one in theory and rule two in practice are exactly the same and they look the same on the keyboard, okay? So when I want you to think about inharmonics, I want you to think of the same scumbag you broke up with, new clothes, new car, but you know they sound the same and they are the same. Their essence is the same, okay? So this has been Dr. Morse, lesson 16, inharmonic equivalence. Um, your, your, your homework this week, we're going to talk a little bit about this um, just at the very end of this video here. For your homework this week in this book, you are going to do page, nothing on page 29, nothing on page 30, okay? I don't see any practice there, okay? No practice there. So page 32. You're gonna do number one, number two. You're gonna practice your order of flats, okay? Then you're gonna flip to page 33, and you're gonna, uh, 30, that's uh, 31, excuse me. Let's start this again. 31, you're gonna do one and two. And then 32, you're going to do one and two. So that's four exercises so far. So 33, okay, 33 is right here. You're gonna do number one on page 33. Okay, circle the measures that can contain in harmonic equivalence, fun. Okay, then 34, you're gonna do two, one, and two. So there's three exercises on that page. Then on 
35, you're going to do number three and then skip the tutor training afterwards. Okay? So that's your assignment. It's been fun. This is Dr. Morris signing off from tutorial number 16. Thank you.